Greetings. This is the second part of my video about the most beautiful places in the world. I am sure you will enjoy this beauty. If you haven't seen the first part yet, don't forget to check it out, I promise you'll love it. And don't forget to subscribe, rate and write your comment about this video. Let's go! Banff National Park Banff National Park is Canada's oldest national park, established in 1885 as Rocky Mountains Park. Located in Alberta's Rocky Mountains, about 100 miles west of Calgary, Banff encompasses 6,641 square kilometers or 2,564 square miles of mountainous terrain, with many glaciers and ice fields, dense coniferous forest, and alpine landscapes. The main ranges in Banff National Park include from north to south, the Waputik, Bow and Blue Ranges. The high peaks west of Lake Louise are part of the Bow Range. The eastern border of the park includes all of the front ranges consisting of from north to south, the Palliser, Sawback and Sundance Ranges. Rocky Mountain Peaks, Turquoise Glacial Lakes and Adventure come together in Banff National Park. Canada's first national park and the flagship of the nation's park system. Banff is part of the Canadian Rocky Mountain Park's UNESCO World Heritage Site. More than 4 million people from around the world now visit Banff National Park every year. This magical town and national park are filled with literally hundreds of amazing places to visit, tours to go on, and, of course, things to do. But with that said, Three days or 72 hours in Banff is a good amount of time to visit the majority of the most amazing attractions in Banff. Ancient city of Petra, Jordan Petra, originally known to its inhabitants as Rakhmu or Rikmo, is a historic and archaeological city in southern Jordan. It is adjacent to the mountain of Jabal al Madba, in a basin surrounded by mountains forming the eastern flank of the Arabah Valley running from the Dead Sea to the Gulf of Aqaba. The area around Petra has been inhabited from as early as 7000 BC, and the Nabataeans might have settled in what would become the capital city of their kingdom as early as the 4th century BC. Archaeological work has only discovered evidence of Nabataean presence dating back to the 2nd century BC by which time Petra had become their capital. The Nabataeans were nomadic Arabs who invested in Petra's proximity to the incense trade routes by establishing it as a major regional trading hub. The stunningly beautiful ancient city, it is a world treasure like none other on the globe. The ancient rock city is built into the dramatic pink-colored stone of Jabal al-Madba mountain, facing outward to a valley. Petra is filled with spectacular tombs, monuments, and houses that were carved into the sandstone cliffs. These elaborate structures were chiseled by hand out of the rose-red rocks, then covered with stucco and painted bright colors. Beautifully carved buildings and monuments are found throughout the city of Petra. Not only is it a wonder of the world, but it's also an ancient city that was used by civilizations over 2,000 years ago. Seeing the rock structures, buildings and abandoned parts of the city is fascinating, and not something to be missed when visiting Jordan. Cinque Terre, Italy The Cinque Terre is a coastal area within Liguria, in the northwest of Italy. It lies in the west of La Spezia province, and comprises five villages. Monterosso al Mare, Vernazza, Cornelia, Monarola, and Rio Maggiore. In 1997, UNESCO recognized Cinque Terre as a World Heritage Site, a remarkable cultural landscape created by human endeavor over a millennium in a rugged and dramatic natural environment. It represents the harmonious interaction between people and nature to produce a landscape of exceptional scenic quality. It have been voted as one of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. The villages are all different and each has its own unique charm. 
Cinque Terre is not the place to go for beach holidays. The beaches are small and pebbly, and there are no sun loungers or umbrellas unless you go to Monterosso al Mare. If you will take a boat tour, hiking the Cinque Terre Trail, and trying the local food, you will fall in love with this place. Cinque Terre has great food and wine. The Liguria region is known for its pesto sauce, focaccia bread, and seafood. And of course, you can't visit Cinque Terre without trying the local wine. The region produces some of the best white wine in Italy. Li River, China The Li River or Li Zhang is the name for the upper reaches of the Gui River in northwestern Guangxi, China. It is part of the Xijiang River system in the Pearl River Basin, flowing 164 kilometers, 102 miles, from Xing'an County to Pingle County. The Li River was first recognized for its cultural significance in 1982 when China's State Council deemed the Lijiang River Scenic Zone a place of scenic and historic importance. Tens of thousands of karst mountains surround the Li River and its connected cities. The byproduct of millions of years of water erosion and weathering, these karst hills are among the oldest and most beautiful natural wonders in China. The 83 km long waterway from Guilin to Yangshuo is like a masterpiece. The landscape is decorated with rolling hills, steep cliffs, fantastic caves, leisurely boats and is lined with bamboo. A poem says, the river is a green silk ribbon, and the hills are jade hairpins. There are several ways to tour the Li River. Take a relaxing cruise from Guilin to Yangshuo, take a bamboo raft trip, and hiking alongside the Li River to get closer to nature. The most relaxing and popular way is to take a boat cruise. Mont Saint Michel Mont Saint Michel is a tidal island and mainland commune in Normandy, France. Michael, Saint Aubert, Bishop of Avranches, created Mont Saint Michel in 708. He decided to build an oratory in honor of the divine persona after this third and final vision. During its construction, the Bishop of Avranches dispatched two religious officials to search for Saint Michel's remains. The commune's position, on an island just a few hundred meters from land, made it accessible at low tide to the many pilgrims to its abbey, but defensible as an incoming tide stranded, drove off, or drowned would be assailants. Outstanding universal value. Perched on a rocky islet in the midst of vast sandbanks exposed to powerful tides, at the limit between Normandy and Brittany, stands Wonder of the West, a Gothic style Benedictine abbey dedicated to the Archangel Street Michel and the village that grew up in the shadow of its walls. Its abbey is famous the world over, and it probably comes as no surprise that Mont Saint Michel is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, similar to the utterly gorgeous Saint Emilion. It is hands down one of the places in France that you need to go out of your way to go visit. Jusé Gao is a nature reserve and national park located in the north of Sichuan province in southwestern China. A long valley running north to south, Jusé Gao was inscribed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1992 and a World Biosphere Reserve in 1997. It belongs to the Category V, Protected Landscape, in the IUCN System of Protected Area Categorization. The Jusei Gao Valley is part of the Min Mountains on the edge of the Tibetan Plateau and stretches over 72,000 hectares or 180,000 acres. It is known for its many multi-level waterfalls, colorful lakes, and snow-capped peaks. Its elevation ranges from 2,000 to 4,500 meters or 6,600 to 14,800 feet. Jusei Gao is a paradise which has been lost and found more than once. More than 2,000 years ago, 
Tibetan and Chang tribespeople discovered this breathtaking valley with its huge diversity of rare flora and fauna. Juze Gao, literally, Nine Settlement Valley, takes its name from the nine Tibetan settlements along its length. The remote region was inhabited by various Tibetan and Chang peoples for centuries. Until 1975 this inaccessible area was little known. The Juze Gao Valley scenic and historic interest area is a reserve of exceptional natural beauty with spectacular jagged alpine mountains soaring above coniferous forest around a fairyland landscape of crystal clear, strange colored blue, green and purplish pools, lakes, waterfalls, limestone terraces, caves and other beautiful features. The Maldives is an archipelagic state and country in South Asia, situated in the Indian Ocean. The Maldives chain of 26 atolls stretches across the equator from I Havand Hippalu Atoll in the north to Adu Atoll in the south. The Republic of Maldives is an independent nation and gained independence in 1965. Historically, Maldives was colonized by the Portuguese, the Dutch, the British but was largely ruled by a sultanate. Now, Maldives has a president which oversees the administration of the country. The Maldives are known as the tropical paradise, for reasons such as its beauty. This tropical country has separated islands and islands are surrounded by its own lagoon. Each island has pure white sandy beaches. The sea covers 99% of the Maldives and it is where you can see beautiful fishes and corals. The Maldives is an incredibly wonderful place to holiday. The pristine beaches here are beyond your imagination. Besides pristine beaches and clear waters, the Maldives is also known for its beautiful coral reefs and marine animals. In fact, its magical underwater world has made it one of the best scuba diving destinations in the world. Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls at the southern end of Niagara Gorge, spanning the border between the province of Ontario in Canada and the state of New York in the United States. The largest of the three is Horseshoe Falls, which straddles the international border of the two countries. It is also known as the Canadian Falls. The smaller American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls lie within the United States. Bridal Veil Falls is separated from Horseshoe Falls by Goat Island and from American Falls by Luna Island, with both islands situated in New York. Niagara Falls is not the tallest waterfall in the world. There are about 500 other waterfalls in the world that are taller than Niagara. The Angel Falls in Venezuela stands at 979 meters, 3,212 featuring. We was talking about it in our previous video. 24 Most Beautiful Place in the World, Part 1. Don't forget to check it up. What makes Niagara Falls so impressive is the amount of water flowing over. Most of the tallest falls in the world have very little water flowing over them. It's the combination of height and volume that makes Niagara Falls so breathtaking. More than 168,000 cubic meters or 6 million cubic feet of water go over the crestline of the falls every minute during peak daytime tourist hours. Isn't this impressive? The main reason to visit Niagara Falls is to see the falls and one of the most memorable ways to do just that is to sport a poncho and hop on a maid of the mist boat. These boats have been shuttling visitors to and from the base of the falls since the 1840s. Zhangjiajia National Forest Park is a national forest park located in Zhangjiajia, Hunan Province, China. It is one of several national parks within the Wuling Yuan Scenic Area. About one and a half billion years ago, strong movements in the Earth's crust in northwestern Hunan turned the land into a sea trough and a volcano on the seabed erupted. Quartz in the lava formed the eggs of Zhang Jiajia's sandstone peak forest. Sea erosion then occurred in northwestern Hunan 380 million years ago. Zhang Jiajia's Wuling Yuan, a shallow sea at that time, 
received large amounts of soil and loose clastic rocks. Later, these became a sandstone peak forest consisting of more than 3,000 knife-edged pillars. Zhangjiajia National Park is touted as the Grand Canyon of China, but it is perhaps better known as the Avatar Mountains. Buried deep in the Hunan province, holds the esteemed title of being China's first UNESCO World Heritage Site. The unique geological formations that have formed over the eons are almost unparalleled in their magnificence. Zhangjiajia is best known for its towering peaks, cloaked in cloud and mist, and covered in different shades of green. Thick shrubs cover the cliff surface, and pines flourish on the mountaintops. Various shapes can be discerned in its peaks, of animals, swords and humans. It is incredible place to see. Zhangjiajia National Forest Park, the place that inspired Avatar, will inspire you too. Machu Picchu is a 15th-century Inca citadel located in the eastern cordillera of southern Peru on a 2,430-meter, 7,970-feet, mountain ridge. Often referred to as the Lost City of the Incas, it is the most familiar icon of the Inca Empire. It is located in the Machu Picchu district within Yurubamba province above the Sacred Valley. The Yurubamba River flows past it, cutting through the cordillera and creating a canyon with a tropical mountain climate. Machu Picchu is the most visited tourist destination in Peru. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983 and was named one of the new Seven Wonders of the World in 2007. The Inca city of Machu Picchu is, without a doubt, a true work of architecture and engineering. Despite having few tools, thanks to their knowledge, the Incas managed to create hundreds of terraces that held up the walls of granite, a particularly hard material. Thanks to their drainage system, these walls remain solid long after their construction, which demonstrates the ingenuity of this civilization. If you decide to visit it, there are only three ways to get to Machu Picchu, the Inca Trail, the train ride through Olente Tambo and the alternative route through Hydroelectric. By the way, the difficulty of the classic Inca Trail is considered to be a moderate level hike. The classic Inca Trail route is 43 kilometers, 26 miles, long and often steep. You will hike over four days at an elevation nearing 13,828 feet, 4,215 meters. The Taj Mahal is an ivory-white marble mausoleum on the right bank of the river Yamuna in Agra, Uttar Pradesh, India. It was commissioned in 1631 by the fifth Mughal emperor, Shah Jahan to house the tomb of his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal. It also houses the tomb of Shah Jahan himself. The tomb is the centerpiece of a 17-hectare, 42-acre, complex, which includes a mosque and a guesthouse and is set in formal gardens bounded on three sides by a crenellated wall. The Taj Mahal is considered to be the greatest architectural achievement in the whole range of Indo-Islamic architecture. Its recognized architectonic beauty has a rhythmic combination of solids and voids, concave and convex and light shadow, such as arches and domes further increases the aesthetic aspect. The color combination of lush green scape reddish pathway and blue sky over it showcases the monument in ever-changing tints and moods. The relief work in marble and inlay with precious and semi-precious stones make it a monument apart. Unsurprisingly, the Taj Mahal made the modern seven wonders of the world list. It has also been a protected UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983. If you're traveling to India, visiting the Taj Mahal is probably on your bucket list and it absolutely should be. It's one of the most romantic and opulent monuments on the planet and deservedly, one of the seven new wonders of the world. Torres del Paine National Park 
is a national park encompassing mountains, glaciers, lakes, and rivers in southern Chilean Patagonia. The Cordillera del Paine is the centerpiece of the park. It lies in a transition area between the Magellanic subpolar forests and the Patagonian steppes. Long before its birth in 1959, Torres del Paine National Park was attracting explorers from around the world. While it is true this area of 181,414 hectares is unique for numerous reasons like its elusive wildlife, blue glaciers and spectacular trails, the real stars here are undoubtedly the three granite spires that gave the park its name, the Towers of Pain. However, it would be simplistic to explain the fame of the park by only mentioning with the towers. The Torres del Paine mountain range is full of dramatic spires that contrast with the vastness of the surrounding landscapes, including the southern Patagonian ice fields and the plains of the Magallanes region. Its complex geology made it the ultimate challenge for climbers and a miracle of nature for scientists. Torres del Paine features four distinct ecological zones which include Andean Desert, Magellanic Subpolar Forest, Pre-Andean Shrubland, and Patagonian Steppe. The area is home to cougars, foxes, guanacos, and Chilean humal. The national park also is a bird lover's paradise featuring 15 different birds of prey. Torres del Paine National Park is best known as a hiker's paradise. Its most famous hike involves a demanding 31-mile walk up and down the park's valleys to see its most famous sites. The route takes the shape of a W, hence the name W Trek. To sum it up, you should plan at least four full days in the park, and planning a one-week trip to Torres del Paine is ideal to make the most of your visit. Edinburgh Castle is a historic castle in Edinburgh, Scotland. It stands on Castle Rock, which has been occupied by humans since at least the Iron Age, although the nature of the early settlement is unclear. There has been a royal castle on the rock since at least the reign of David I in the 12th century, and the site continued to be a royal residence until 1633. From the 15th century, the castle's residential role declined, and by the 17th century it was principally used as military barracks with a large garrison. Its importance as a part of Scotland's national heritage was recognized increasingly from the early 19th century onwards, and various restoration programs have been carried out over the past century and a half. The rock on which Edinburgh Castle is built is the plug of a volcano, believed to be around 350 million years old. The summit of the rock is 130 meters above sea level, and it was on this exposed by defensively significant site that human occupation in the city began approximately 3,500 years ago. Edinburgh Castle is one of the oldest fortified places in Europe. With a long rich history as a royal residence, military garrison, prison and fortress, it is alive with many exciting tales. When you climb Castle Hill, you will walk in the footsteps of soldiers, kings and queens, and even the odd pirate or two. Edinburgh Castle is a fitting backdrop to unforgettable corporate events and private dining experiences, the setting of exquisite weddings and civil ceremonies or the finest hospitality before the world-famous military tattoo. I think this must be in your list if you ever be in Scotland. Lake Baikal is a rift lake in Russia. It is situated in southern Siberia, between the federal subjects of Irkutska Oblast to the northwest and the Republic of Buryatia to the southeast. With 23,615.39 cubic kilometers, 5,670 cubic miles, of water, Lake Baikal is the world's largest freshwater lake by volume, containing 22 to 23 percent of the world's fresh surface water, more than all of the North American Great Lakes combined. It is also the world's deepest lake, with a maximum depth of 1,642 meters, 5,387 feet, 898 fathoms, and the world's oldest lake, at 25 to 30 million years. At 31,722 square kilometers, 12,248 square miles, slightly larger than Belgium, Lake Baikal is the world's seventh largest lake by surface area. It is among the world's clearest lakes. 
The water in the lake stays clear thanks to a local endemic, an Episcura bicolensis copod. It feeds on the algae and other organic matter and filters the water. Furthermore, it is the primary feed of the Baikal omul, one of local endemics. Other endemic species include the oily, scaleless Galamyanka fish and the omul, a white fish that is one of Lake Baikal's most famous dishes. Other land-based species around Lake Baikal include bears, reindeer, elk, wild boar, Siberian roe deer, polecats, ermine, sable and wolves. Russia's Lake Baikal is one of nature's wonders. It's the largest freshwater lake in the world. Located in the heart of Siberia, it's a travel experience that hasn't been completely overrun with other tourists. If you love nature, you owe it to yourself to experience seeing Lake Baikal. Belos Lagoon The famous lagoon of Belos is located approximately 56 kilometers northwest of Chania and 17 kilometers northwest of Kisamos, formed between the Cape Gramvisa and the small Cape Tagani and below the range of Platyskinos. Belos is surely the mostly photographed beach in Crete, a very favorite subject of all tourist guides for Greece. It is no coincidence that Prince Charles and Princess Diana visited Belos on their private yacht many years ago. The lagoon of Belos has white sand and exotic white, vivid blue, and turquoise waters. The sea is very shallow and warm, ideal for young children. In many places the sand has a lovely pinkish color, because of millions of crushed shells. Beyond the rocks at the boundaries of the lagoon, the water is deeper and colder, ideal for snorkeling. The lagoon and the wider area, with rare species of flora and fauna, are protected under the Natura 2000 program. Eleonora falcons, shags, and cormorants nest in the caves of the area. Moreover, the area is a shelter for the protected monk seal and the loggerhead sea turtle, Coretta Coretta. The beach captures your heart twice over, once with a dreamy view, and then, from up close, as a magical swimming spot. This place is a must-go during your stay in Crete. Belos is famous for its turquoise waters, wild natural beauty, and beautiful exotic scenery. During the summer, it is visited by thousands of people, who arrive mostly by ferries running from Kisamo's port. If you do not like crowds, you'd better avoid visiting the beach in July and August. Also, a perfect idea is to arrive at Belos in the morning, before the boats arrive from Kisamos. These few hours of remoteness in such a heavenly place will remain etched in your memory forever. Most tulip farms in the Netherlands are located in the Noorduspolder in the province of Flevoland. If you are looking for the largest contiguous area of flower bulbs in the world, you should head out to Kop van Noord Holland, located on a stretch of land between the North Sea and the Iselmeer Lake. It was in the 16th century that tulips were imported to Holland from the Ottoman Empire, present day Turkey. Just a few years after arriving in Holland, tulips became the most sought after commodity in the entire Netherlands after Carolus Clusius wrote what's considered the first major book about the flower. From the official season launch mid-January, to peak tulip season from March to May, there are so many ways to experience the beauty of the tulip flower and its importance in Dutch culture. A visit to the tulip garden is absolutely worth it. Each year, the Kukanoff Tulip Gardens is only open for 60 days, and during this time, the Kukanoff Tulip Festival is held. You will be able to view 800 plus different varieties of tulips, apart from other flowers, spread over 79 hectares. This is four very different ways you can enjoy tulips in the Netherlands. See Tulip Season Launch at Dam Square in Amsterdam. Visit the vibrant gardens at Kukanoff. Immerse yourself in flower fields with a bike tour. Go behind the scenes at the world's largest flower auction. Let us know if this video was helpful for you. 
Don't forget to subscribe and rate us.